want God's forgiveness. God expects us to forgive those who do us wrong. He expects us to forgive those who say mean and hurtful things against us, to hurt us. He expects us to forgive those who reject us. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It seems like a big requirement sometimes, but if you really look at what God did for us, and you really lay hold and ponder how God sent His Son Jesus because we was in rebellion towards Him, living in rebellion towards His statues on our way to hell. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He sent His Son Jesus. He demonstrates His love towards us. He sent Jesus to die for our sins. And not only that, He reached into our lives and pulled us out of the muck of sin. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Because let me say something. No one saves themselves. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is the Savior. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That's why it says that Jesus Christ is Lord and He is Savior. Because He saves. He saves people from sin. He forgives them for, for their rebellion. He restores people's lives. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So if we can look at what God did for us and really ponder it and see how serious it is because this is a big thing. The Bible is a bloody book. It's a bloody story, but it's a story of redemption. It's a story of God's love and mercy. And it's also a story of God's holy hatred towards rebellion. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's a bloody book. But it's a real story. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's real accounts. Hallelujah. It, it tells us about God's love for us and His forgiveness towards us. And if we can look at that and, and see what the Lord did for us, then it will help us to be merciful and forgiving towards those who do things towards us. Because we want to maintain God's forgiveness in our lives. And a lot of people, they lose the forgiveness of God is because they hold grudges towards people. And God is not going to forgive you if you want to hold grudges towards other people and not forgive them. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Remember when Peter asked Jesus, he said, Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother if he sins against me? Seven times seven? And uh, Jesus said, no, Peter, 70 times seven. In other words, you keep forgiving. You see, God's not going to require you to do something that He's not going to do. That's why He said that in the text. And that's how we maintain our forgiveness with God. A lot of people, they fall away because they withhold forgiveness from others. They hold in grudges and it makes them bitter. They, they lose God's grace. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. They don't follow after peace with all men in holiness like the scripture says. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We have to love people and forgive them for what they do to us. And uh, God forgives us if we mess up along the way of walking with Him. If we stumble, God forgives us. But He expects us when other people sin against us to forgive them. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God's a God of great mercy and the Bible says that we are to be ye perfect as our Father in heaven is perfect. So He extends mercy to people who repent. 
And He will give us forgiveness and allow us to walk in His love and allow us to walk in His grace as long as we are walking in forgiveness. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We must be willing to forgive others. God forgives us. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is a very forgiving God. He's great in compassion and mercy. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But He's also to be feared. The Bible says that it's the fear of God that perfects holiness. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are to have a fear of God and we are to love God. These two go together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's the fear of God that keeps you on the narrow way to holiness. It's the fear of God that keeps you in that place that when people come against you, when people that you love hurt you, that you don't harbor unforgiveness towards them. The fear of God causes you to extend mercy to them and say, Father, forgive them. I forgive them for they know not what they do because you know that God is a God that doesn't play. He has rules and He has boundaries for us. Now we are to love God, but we are to fear Him. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God because He has boundaries that He set for His children. There is rules that He has set for us and we're not to cross those boundaries. We're not to cross those rules. And the fear of God keeps you from crossing over those boundaries. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's the fear of the Lord that perfects holiness. That's what the Scripture says. Now, of course, we love God because we walk with Him. And uh, He does good things in our life. He changes our, our heart. Hallelujah. He radically sets us free. We walk in freedom. We walk in a closeness to Him in relationship. He answers our prayers. He uses us for His glory. Yes, He's loving. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We can have sweet fellowship with Him in prayer. But he's also to be feared. We are to fear God and we are to love God. Just like an earthly father. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. A righteous and good earthly father who raises his child up. Will raise his child up the right way. And he will set boundaries and rules for his child. And see the child he'll love his father. But he'll also fear his father because his, he knows his father set in rules. And if he crosses those rules, there is consequences to pay. He knows that if he crosses those boundaries, that he's going to be in trouble with his father. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And that child loves his father, but he knows that his father does not play, that his father set in rules, and he's not to cross over them boundaries. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's the same thing with us in our Heavenly Father. He has set in rules for us not to cross. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And He doesn't play games. Yes, He's forgiving. But we don't cross those boundaries. We strive to walk the narrow way of holiness. We strive to walk and keep ourselves in the fear of God. Because it's the fear of God that perfects holiness. We love God. We walk with Him. He's good. He's compassionate. But He is to be feared and He is to be loved. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He is very forgiving, but we also have to be very forgiving just like He is forgiving. God is trying to conform us into His Son, Jesus Christ. And conformity is not easy. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Jesus Christ extends mercy and grace to wicked sinners people who sin against him hallelujah to the lamb of god so how can you learn to be like christ if there's never opportunities that come into your life to extend mercy and grace like christ extends mercy and grace hallelujah to the lamb of god you see what i'm saying my friends 
God is conforming us into the image of His Son, Jesus Christ. And conformity is not easy. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. If He's going to conform us into the image of His Son, we're going to have to learn to forgive like His Son forgives. We're going to have to learn to be merciful like His Son is merciful. Hallelujah. So there will be situations that rise within your life. Opportunities that will come. People will hurt you. People will turn against you. And when them opportunities arise, you have to respond with Christ-like character. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You have to extend mercy and grace. And it's not easy because the flesh doesn't want to do that. See, the flesh wants to stand up for itself. The flesh wants to hold a grudge. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But God is conforming you. That means that He's shaping you. In order for this shaping process to take place, there's going to be some uncomfortable situations that's going to come into your life where you will have the chance to extend mercy and grace. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 29 that we are being conformed into the image and likeness of His Son, Jesus Christ. It actually says we are predestined to be conformed. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And God wants Christ-like character in us. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And He will use affliction. Now love is mixed up all up in this. Because God is love and He's pouring out His love on us. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But He's going to mix in affliction. He's going to mix in persecution. He's going to mix in rejection. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That way you would have the opportunity to extend mercy and grace and forgiveness. Like Jesus did when He was on the cross. He said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. He wasn't on the cross and getting angry and getting mad at them. He didn't get in the flesh and want to hold a grudge against those who brought him to the cross. He said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And this is the character that God is looking to build within us. And my friends, he's going to allow situations into our life. He's going to use afflictions. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He's conforming us into the image and likeness of His Son, Jesus. And we must walk in forgiveness and forgive other people when they do things to us. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So many people, they get bittered in their heart. They fall away from grace because they want to hold grudges. They lose their walk with God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We have to forgive people. We can't hold grudges, my friends. We can't hold on to unforgiveness and think that we're going to walk in God's forgiveness. It doesn't work like that. There will be no anointing in your life. The love of God will be pulled back. Why? Because you're going to wither away on the vine. Why? Because you are crossing those boundaries that God has commanded you not to cross. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The Bible talks about the unforgiving servant. In the book of Matthew chapter 18. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He refused to forgive somebody that owed him something. And the scripture says in verse 34, And his master was angry. The servant's master was angry and delivered him up to the torturers until he should pay all that was due to him. So my heavenly Father also will do to each one of you from his heart. If he does not forgive his brother, his trespasses. <clears throat> he says he's going to hand you over 
to the torturers. If you do not forgive from the heart your brother his trespasses. That's what the scripture says. What is the torturers? They're demons. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. They're, that's the torturers. So you look at people, they all bitter, they full of depression and oppression. A lot of times what's going on is they're holding on to unforgiveness. They got offense in their heart. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And they are handed over to the torturers, just like the scripture says. So there's no peace in their life. Why? Because they have crossed over that boundary that God said don't cross. And they never came back. They never chose to forgive. They held on to it. They crossed the boundary. They broke the rule. And they never turned and came to the Lord and said, I'm sorry, and, and, and chose to forgive that person. And because of that, they began to get bitter. Depression came in. They began to get oppressed and sick. They was handed over to the torturers, just like the scripture says. They refused to forgive. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So let's walk in forgiveness, my friends. If you are being tormented with bitterness, if you are being tormented with anger, if you are being tormented with oppression, you need to examine your life and you need to look at people that you might be holding a grudge to and you need to be willing to let it go. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Do whatever you got to do to get that thing off of your soul. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Even if it means going to that person that you've been holding a grudge against and saying, look, I'm sorry, please forgive me. You might not even know that that I've been holding a grudge against you because of something you did to me a while back. But I want to tell you and confess this to you. And I want to tell you I'm sorry and I love you. I love you. And then you come to God and say I'm sorry. So that you get restoration. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That you would be delivered from the torturers. And you would be restored back to the grace of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Be blessed today saints of God. Walk in forgiveness. In Jesus mighty name.